Hello everybody and welcome to my reading about the State of the Union. We're going to find out what energies are moving within your Twin Flame Union at this time and what solutions you can implement to fully optimise your pathway forward towards union and togetherness and true love. And we're going to jump straight into the reading and the first one is the Three of Swords, Planet Venus, Element Air, Zodiac Sign, Libra, Cardinal, Heartbreak, Betrayal, Separation, Trauma, Grief, Separation, Again, Loneliness, Depression, Love Triangle, Alienation, Serious Misunderstandings. So what we have here, don't try and make that fit to any story or situation that you might be or have been experiencing at this time. It's just about feelings, this card. So all these feelings are bad feelings that can keep someone from their desire. You may resonate with some of them, or maybe all of them. Really, the root of all separation is just the belief in it. If there's a place that you're feeling within right now where you're still feeling separate, separate from love, separate from your good, please know that that is an illusion. It's a bad feeling illusion from the ego. It's not divine. It's not true. You can let that one go. You are always one with love. Nobody else can have your good any more than you can have anybody else's good. Your good was created by the divine just for you. Never forget that. Choose to release any uh, and all relationship with separation in this place and deliver more love there. Lashings and lashings of it. Be generous in how you love yourself. If you're feeling lonely, it's because you need to go be with yourself in that place. You and your twin flame are one. There's no separation. There's no difference. And remember, there's no misalignments between twin flames at the core. Just misunderstandings. It can all be resolved very easily. Treasure... Your loved ones, it is important to love others deeply. And you love others deeply, especially with your twin flame, when you love yourself deeply. And you love yourself by taking your power back from this illusion that feels so bad and claim your divinity as a child of the universe. Claim yourself, claim all of yourself completely. What could be blocking you from feeling completely and unconditionally worthy of divine love? Is there something you can do today to give love to yourself? Sometimes, well, usually, it's just as simple as making the choice to do so. And when you're ready to expand the love within yourself and deepen your connection to yourself, your source, and by default, naturally, your twin flame, you do that by choosing to see yourself as perfect and divine and worthy of unconditional love and eternal life. Accept yourself completely and unconditionally as you were created and choose to align yourself to the vibration of love. Be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. Yeah, when you give more love to yourself, you can receive more love. Giving and receiving are the same thing. Choose to go deeper into your connection with yourself, with your divine source and your twin flame. You are already inseparably connected to the divine. You are already one with love. In the course of your life, illusions have been created. We all have illusions that keep us from the awareness of being in absolute harmony with the divine. It's safe to connect now and stay connected to the divine. This is what everyone truly desires because that truly fulfills every time. The closer you get to the divine source, the stronger you can feel the connection to your twin flame. The hurdles you may be experiencing right now on your journey are only pointing you to the places where you need to give yourself special attention and connect deeper with the divine, with the divine truth. Accept the gifts that the divine presents to you out of unconditional love for yourself. Go within yourself to release any blocks and you will find more love will naturally flow into your physical life. A lot going for you here. There's a lot to be happy about. There's a lot to look forward to. There's a lot to live for. You're doing great. 
So on that note, I'm going to end this message here. See you very soon.